Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and the finals has been finally released. It is now for everyone to play. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in the finals public release. Make sure to watch this video till the end and also don't forget to check out our channel memberships. I really appreciate you guys if you want to support me out. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Okay, step number one is the compatibility settings and for that you need to open up your steam right click on it and then go over to manage and then click on browse local files now once you're here you have to right click on your discovery.exe go over to properties and then go to compatibility and click on disable full screen optimization it helps you to improve your fps right beneath that click on change high dpi scaling click on this option and then select application over here and then simply click on ok step number two is deanimating your windows and it is really simple simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once this option opens up for you you need to click on adjust for best performance then enable show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen font this will help you to keep your windows look intact but disable all unnecessary animations that will improve your pc's performance well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is also in the performance options that is under the advanced section that is called virtual memory. You need to click on change and then set your initial size to 1361 and your maximum size should be half of your total memory. So for that, open up system information on your PC, look for your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Now you need to open up calculator on your desktop and then simply multiply your installed physical memory with 1024 that will get you the value in megabytes. Now what you have to do is simply divide this whole thing by 2 and you'll get this value that you have to paste over here and then simply click on set. This is the most optimal virtual memory settings to get better FPS. Next step is the best Windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC. Once you are here go all the way down to gaming, go to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and it is not really efficient for gaming. Right after that, go to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on as it will optimize your PC by turning background services and applications off and it will also help you to reduce the notification pop-ups whenever you're playing the game. Right beneath that, go over to graphic settings, then click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options as it will help you to improve your graphic card utilization as well as input latency in the game. Right after that, go back to graphics once again and in this list, click on the browse button and add your game, the discovery.exe in the list. So for that, you need to go back and select the game. That is the finals right over here at discovery.exe in this list. Go to options and then select high performance and then simply click on save. It will keep utilizing your GPU for the gaming on the maximum level. Once it is done, simply close your settings and let's move ahead. Next step is boot configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC and once this option is open up for you, you have to go to the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will help you to reduce your boot time and it will also improve your gaming performance in the long run. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of all of your internet issues and you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you open this application, it should look like this. You have to turn exit lag on. Down below, you'll find a list of thousands of games to choose from. You can simply search for finals over here and then select the nearest game region to you. The nearest region for me is Singapore 01 
and it will give me an estimation of 54 milliseconds of ping. Simply click on apply routes and the finals will be added to your recent list. This will help you to tunnel your internet from your PC directly to the game servers that will help you to fix all of your ping issues and packet loss issues very efficiently. The best part about exit lag is the tool section over here where you can go to FPS boost, enable the first, third, fifth, third last and last option and that will give you the best FPS possible in your games. Once again, in the new year sale of exit lag, if you get a subscription like a quarterly or annual subscription, you'll get three months on your subscription. So make sure to do check out exit lag. Links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to search for create a restore point on your PC. Now in the system protection right over here, you have to look for your local disk C, click on create and name it finals just so you can remember it and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every settings back to normal without any data loss. Next step is the finals release FPS pack. You have to download this from the link in the description below or if you're facing any issues downloading this pack, you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. You can simply open this pack up and in here you'll find in six simple folders. First one is the CPU optimization where you have to run either AMD or Intel CPU based on the processor that you're using. I currently use an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. If you're running an Intel CPU you can run the Intel CPU priority. Now second is the RAM optimization in which I have left a lot of presets for your memory. I currently use 32 GB RAM so I need to run this one. But if you guys use any other I have left a ton of presets including the reset to default if you don't like it you have to run it by double clicking on it. Next is the Windows important tweak and in in here I have left a ton of tweaks that will help you to improve your PC's performance by disabling unnecessary services, background apps, downloading maps, transparencies, Win32 priority separation to improve your PC's performance as well as improve system responsiveness to boost your response time. All of them will help you to improve your gaming performance and if you don't like it you can always revert all of them back from the revert folder. Next is the finals priority and you need to run this one. This is the most important part because it will put your game on the higher priority that will help you to get better performance and better FPS and it will also fix stuttering. Next is the MSI Utility V3. You have to open this thing up as an administrator. Now once you're here you have to click on AMD USB host extensible, click on the MSI button in front of it, then you have to do the same for your GPU, then the Ethernet controller and your AMD USB right over here as well. Now once you're done all of that, you have to set all of them to high, whichever you have put a tick mark on. So just set this thing to high, high, high and high right over here and then simply click on apply and that will set all of the registry values in the background to improve all of the performances of it. This will help you to improve your FPS, utilize your GPU, it will also fix your input latency as well as improve your network connection. Once it is done, simply close it and the next folder is the best config settings and for that you have to copy this game user settings.ini, then press your windows and R key together and then search for app data. Open this thing up, go to local and over here you have to search for discovery. So you can search for discovery, go to saved, go to config, go to windows client and then you have to paste this file over here. You have to replace this and make sure that it is set in this one over here. This includes all of the best settings in the game. So you do not have to go and manually do it in the game. You have to set this automatically from this over here. You have to right click on this, go to properties and then set this thing to read only and then simply click on apply. So you do not have to go and change these settings manually it will automatically be set in the game which are the best settings to improve your gaming performance drastically once it is done simply go back and close this folder and as well as the fps pack and you are good to go i hope this video helps you out make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also do check out the channel membership as i was talking it really helps me out and supports the content we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out